when we first came to London, we saw a few bands at um, a place called the Shepherd's Bush Empire, which is a really brilliant venue in London. And we said, you know, we'll be happy when we've played that venue. And then so we played that. Playing Glastonbury was a milestone. Getting num number one in the UK char album charts was a milestone. Flying all over around the world, playing music in every country is a milestone. Coming to America, it's all been stuff that we've, we've hoped for and always sort of thought we might be able to get there with hard work and now it's, it's, it's happened, it's all paid off. We haven't been to the, the States very much so this is, this is quite new to us but so far I mean we've played three shows and it's just been like the best gigs ever. Playing at the Fillmore is the one we look forward to most out of all the gigs we're doing in, in the US because it, we've all got albums that people recorded live at the Fillmore. I think some of them are from the Fillmore East, which, you know, I didn't know there was more than one, you know, as I've been told, that, all that, but no, it's, it's a great honour to, to play here. And we're recording this, this show, so uh, we might put out, you know, our Coldplay live at the Fillmore. We shall see. Obviously coming here where people where it all sort of kicked off is, is just incredible and it's it's a great honour and hopefully we'll do it justice and play well. Hey John, hey John, how are you doing? How are you guys feel? Good, Very good. How was that three day of Australia? He's on a guest list, right? Well, the idea, man. But the, but the Half Top 40, this excited into a new band. It's the first time I've had it and seen in a long time this type of enthusiasm really, really. over a brand new band. Yeah. So where, where is the old. album? Um, in cool. San Francisco, for example, you're the number 43 selling album. You sold a thousand eight copies over the last seven days. Um, we, in Seattle, it's the number 17 album. And in San Francisco, you sold about the same, about 9,300 copies. So it's number 43. And that's only with like, one station playing, with two stations playing it, but one primarily really has been on it for, and that's Live 105. Like I said, the, the bonus is you guys are all over the road touring, supporting the uh, project, the ABC promo, um, the Gavin that's coming up, you'll be at the convention. I mean, there's a lot of things that are happening just at the right time. So I think the timing's been great. We're going to go by the, yes, we're going by the Fillmore, sir, at the corner of Gary, and uh, I guess we're going to pick up instruments there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very few times it comes along a band that I have to divide my emotion between being the fan and being the record guy. And I'll tell you, man, I'm, I'm moved by your music. The thing that not worries me is that record companies, never, no, no offense, but they have to talk it up to you. Because we've seen Spinal Tap, and it's like, oh, everything's going great, and then there's no one there, and no records. So. No records, and the in store, and the, yeah, right. I'm just, I'm Arnie Femkin. Kick me in the butt right now. Go yeah, ahead. right. <laughs> Tonight will be a magical uh, night, I think, because it's just for some reason, the, the Fillmore, the uh, acoustics, the setting, and the excitement. I mean, just every, everybody. It's, 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 an, it's an automatic anticipation, usually. That was a lady, right? Yeah, because they're going to freeze for the next two weeks. <laughs> no. They're freezing for, for two no. weeks. So no, she's going to try to give it to me that. No, 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 no. I think so. No. I can't welcome, tell to San, welcome to San Francisco, guys. Right? <laughs> hey, Joe, I'm going to need like five. It's seven right now. Ready? Hey, ready, girl. I'm going to tell you. Let's go. Folks, have your tickets out, roll your own tickets! Please make two lines for the search. Have your bags and backpacks open. I am fan enough to stand here with the sign whoring myself for a ticket, basically. <laughs> uh, we actually spent New Year's in London, and we got introduced to Coldplay on the way over there, and we got to hear them in England, and uh, now we're uh, here to see them. We got back, and we bought tickets right away, and luckily we got in, and it sold out, so. Yeah, in England, they say they're mad on them, so we, we, they played it for us, and we love them. We're mad on them now. Here you go. I got the tickets. Hello, Barbara. I got her. Thank no, no, you. ID for alcohol. If you're drinking alcohol this evening, I need to see an ID. I really like the band. I've seen them a lot on MTV. And uh, I came all the way from New Jersey. And, you know, I can't even get a ticket. I'm kind of bummed. Great band. Please have your ID out. Keep your hands down. ID for alcohol. Uh, I, I love Coldplay. I've been into them for a couple months now, so I'm really, really excited to see them. I 
saw him in Portland, I'm seeing him here, and then I'm going to LA to see him. So, it's excellent. It's very exciting. Do you have everything you need from your pockets? Yes. 75 cents. Give three bucks to charity and win a poster signed by Coldplay. Thanks for coming out. We'll be right back. a month off to myself with nothing to do, I would go home and sleep for about three weeks. Good. The press is a lot of bands nightmare, you know, having to do constant interviews and sometimes it gets to be a bit much but at the end of the day, you, you've got to just realise that this is how you get yourself across to other people. This is what sells you records ultimately, which means we can uh, make another. You know, if we sell enough records and we make some money, then we can we can make another record, and that's what we want to do. You know, we want to be musicians making music, and I can't think of anything else I'd rather do. So we just get on and do it. Limp Biscuit on Live 105, that is New Rock called My Way. It's Jared Live 105, I am glad they are finally freaking here. Coldplay's in this studio. Uh, Johnny and Chris. <laughs> so the film war, I'm sorry to say, is, is sold out. So turn it up good and loud, because they're going to play a song right now. Okay. So I look in your direction, but you pay me no attention to you. And I know you don't listen to me, cause you say you see straight through me, don't you? I'll be there. 